Let's move on to talk about Apple. In the midst of a thousand stories about the iPhone release, uh, where uh, Apple seems to have gone to, from being the most uh, secure company in terms of uh, not having any leaks to being like a colander of leaks. <laughs> this seems to be leaks uh, left, right, and center about the new iPhone. Uh, but uh, uh, rumors aside, uh, as far as the hardware is concerned, uh, AdAge published a relevant story for us, uh, which is uh, on the upcoming iTunes radio launch. So according to AdAge, uh, brand partners have already been lined up for ads and include McDonald's, Nissan, Pepsi, and Procter & Gamble. And there's apparently about 12 partners uh, all in all that have, have uh, signed up for the initial release phase. And uh, all of these have committed to 12-month campaigns uh, representing ad buys in the tens of millions of dollars. Access oh. to the iTunes radio advertising environment is going to be restricted at launch to these partners in particular up until uh, the end of the year, apparently. And then from January, it's going to open up to more advertisers, uh, although there's going to be a minimum uh, uh, spend of a, a million. So that's uh, quite a high uh, ad spend as a, mi uh, spend as a minimum. So uh, we know that the ad ads experiment uh, didn't go the way Apple wanted uh, and do you think that uh, this more proven Pandora-like uh, model is going to be likely to succeed? Uh, Adam, what's your take on that? Uh, I don't know whether it's more likely to succeed. I mean, I think, I think the impact on Pandora will be, you know, will be um, I guess the thing to watch. Yeah. Um, I and mean, obviously, you know, unlike when they launched the iTunes Music Store a decade ago, obviously it's a completely different market and it's, you know, it's, it's a very congested market. Um, Obviously, great seeing you know, lots of brands, seeing lots of brands go in. I mean, it's a very, it's obviously a, a reasonably, well, it's a very mainstream proposition. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, I guess you'd have to start to see the impact when it, you know, when it, when it, you know, when it launches. When I mean, it out, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm, even in terms of you know iTunes Match, I mean, I'm not quite sure how many. I know it's free to 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 match subscribers, but I don't know how many subscribers there are to match even within the US or something. So exactly, and and iTunes Match is a is part of the picture as well because if you are subscribed to iTunes Match, yeah. then you don't have to listen to adverts. Uh, but I, I guess Apple counts on most people not being subscribed, then I shouldn't have to listen mm. to the adverts. And and Andy, in terms of uh, the, the number of adverts, so they're talking about uh, an ad, an audio ad every fifteen minutes and and a video ad every hour. Uh, do you think this is uh, in the realm of possibility and in the realm of what people are willing to withstand as well? On the service? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's, you know, some people don't find ad, ads as annoying as other people do, yeah. and I think this this seems. I mean, when it, it's different to like ad, ad, advertising on something like Spotify, where it's breaking up, you know, a whole album into sections, basically by pu plugging adverts into it, and this is a bit more like. Um, we like almost like traditional radio, like yeah. you get you know three songs and then an advert. Um, so I think it's possibly people will be more kind of primed to to kind of accept accept, accept this how it is. And yeah. obviously, I mean, the other advantage Apple has is that they've got a lot of people plugged into iTunes already. Yeah. Every, every other service, even the Pandora, which obviously is you know, a pretty big service in the US, but they have to attract people away from what they're using elsewhere. Uh, and you know, iTunes is going to say this is just a thing that's on your iTunes account you're already using. Yeah. Um, exactly. And pull people in like that. Yeah, that that'd be pretty. That would be pretty interesting to see what what the uptake is on it. I mean, of course, Apple have botched uh, a, a number of these projects before, uh, coming out with projects that weren't quite fully baked. But apparently, the 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 momentum is there for them to have you know had enough time to work on this. You know, they've had a few years now to to work out what they want to do in the streaming space. So hopefully, they will come out with a with a with a working uh, with a working service. And uh, uh, Adam, from from your perspective, uh, do you feel like it's a hindrance for Apple to have stuck to these big major corporations as partners because, of course, that rules out any opportunity for uh, personalization of the adverts as well. You know, if, if, if you, if you yeah. were opening to more potential advertisers, then you'd be able to target your, your, your adverts uh, better, whilst here you only have probably about 12 and everybody's going to get the same ones, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess you know, I mean, Apple's obviously a big mainstream brand. They're you know, they're big big mainstream brands. They're associated with. I mean, it's. Um, um, I mean, I guess I agree that maybe you would have expected a bit more innovation there in terms of targeting people or localization or, or something like that. Um, I don't know. I mean, again, it's 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 you know, it's so hard to tell you know quite how it will be received until it until it's out there. I yeah. mean, I guess. You know, it's not going to be until you pass a building site and you hear people, um, you hear builders um, tuning into Apple Radio rather than <laughs> Radio One or something. That that's you know that'll be the seismic moment maybe or something. But 
I don't know. It will take a while, won't it? Uh, yeah. But uh, uh, and of course, you know, we we'll probably won't be able to use it uh, until uh, way past uh, September, because uh, uh, f- as far as I remember, that I think the initial launch is going to be US sure. only, and then it's going to roll out at some point. Uh, yeah, I think it's early, early next year for us. Yeah, exactly. So we'll have to wait a little bit and and rely on reviews from from other people. 